What's up, what's up to all of my YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram subscribers? This is your girl again, C. Temptation, the queen bee herself of Chicago Tall. Um, today's video, I'm going to talk about two different stories. Um, I wanted to officially announce uh, Prince's formal drummer, John Blackwell Jr. at age 43. He had made his transition a couple of days ago. And my understanding was due to complications uh, from brain tumors he was experiencing. So um, I want to take a moment to send out the highest vibration to his wife and to his family. And to all my subscribers, please take a moment to pray for his wife and his family. Send them the highest vibrations of love and strength to them as they, you know, try to move on because he's no longer on this earth plane. But to John Blackwell Jr., I wanted to say thank you for life. Thank you for your legacy and, you know, being a part of Prince's life, you know, and I hope you uh, rest in paradise and I hope your next uh, life experience will be a great one, a fantastic one. So going forward, um, the next thing I want to speak about is about the concert regarding Escape. Now, I am a real big fan of Escapes. I remember when they first started, though, I think back in the 90s, I mean, I fell in love with these ladies. I love their voices. I love them. Oh, my goodness. And I was watching on a video they were performing in Detroit and how Tiny was singing to T.I. and serenading him and singing to him. And I thought that was really, really sweet. And it was a question that they, that they brought up online asking, uh, will those two reconcile, get back together? Now... I hope and pray they do, though, because I think uh, deep inside, though, I see the love in her eyes and also I see the love in his eyes as well. I mean, it's not guaranteed that they will, but me personally, I hope they do, you know, because they've been through a lot. Um, I know T. High has made a tremendous amount of mistakes. He didn't went to jail. Um, he didn't have affairs, you know, behind Tiny's back, and I'm quite sure Tiny, she had made mistakes also. Now, it was a rumor saying that her and Floyd Merriweather, though, was had an affair, though, but she appeared on the Wendy show and said that she didn't. They, they were just friends. But, you know, but my thing is I'm quite sure both of them had the equal amount of mistakes that they made. And it's not so much of the mistakes, but it's what you learn behind them, and then you mature and grow and move forward from there. So I hope they pretty much had reached the point where they had matured from their mistakes and wanted to um, mature, learn from it, move on, and grow. So, you know, my prayers go out to T.I. and Tiny. I hope they do find it somewhere and find the wisdom and the strength, though, I mean, to try to come together, work out their differences, and try to move forward. And then not only that, you know, they got kids together. They just had a daughter a year ago named Eris. I think they call her Eri, but I think that little girl is so adorable, and she deserves her parents. She deserves nothing but the best so she could grow up and become a successful young lady. So, again, my prayers go out to Tiny and to T.I. And also, I wanted to thank all of my subscribers and thank all of my new subscribers and welcome you to Chicago Talk. And I hope and pray that these videos, though, are very knowledgeable, very enlightening, and very, um, very enjoyable as well. And I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this video short. I wanted to say namaste to everyone that is watching this video. Peace be on to you and to everyone else. And I want to say to all my subscribers that I love you. I bless you. And I definitely have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I'm just trying to make this short, the story, these stories short and sweet. Until the next video. Like I said again, namaste. Until next time, dropping the mic, I'm out.